Hi there, I'm Tasha from Jumanji Pets and I'm here today to give you a few tips on your pet care. How to train your puppy. First of all, potty training. Where it's come from, whether it's your breeder or your local pet store, most likely they're not trained. Um, dogs are very clean, hygienic animals and will tend to go to the toilet in one place. In an environment they're not used to, they will go when they need to go. So make sure you have plenty of puppy pads or newspaper down. I advise scented um, puppy pads, that way they can familiarise that smell with going to the toilet. Ideally, eventually, you want the dogs to be going to the toilet outside. So make sure you always keep a puppy pad by the door so eventually when the dog does need to go to the toilet he will be waiting by that door for you. You will find that your puppy hit and misses those puppy pads. So if your puppy does miss the mat, let him know he's done wrong. Never shout at him aggressively, never hit your puppy. Always tell them in a deep, calm voice. If they have gone on those puppy pads, let them know they've done a good thing. Praise them with a cheer or if you feel you need to, give them a treat. Try not to give them a treat too often. This is because you don't want it to become a routine every time your puppy goes to the toilet to give him a treat. Now, whatever your sleeping arrangements may be, I always advise let the puppies have their own bed. Um, this really helps the independence of the pup. Keep them in their own room with their own bedding, their own teething toys, that way, they will sleep on their own. Now the first couple of nights you will find they may be crying. Never let your puppy cry for too long. If he is howling a lot, go down to the puppy, comfort him to let him know that you're there. It may feel like it's the right thing to invite the puppy into your bed, but trust me, once your puppy's been invited to your bed, he's never want to come out of it. He's always going to want to sleep with you, so make sure you always have his own dog bed. Um, it may be uncomfortable the first couple of nights and, you know, the pup is, is not used to this. The only way to get him used to it, it's like a baby. Keep them in their own bed, eventually they will grow into to be independent young dogs and sleep in their own beds. Before you let your puppy into the outside world, make sure he has been fully vaccinated. He needs a first vaccination and then two to three weeks later you need your second vaccine. At least give it five days to let the vaccine settle into your dog's body. After that, he's free to roam the world. I advise giving the dog a harness with a lead. If you can, before he's ready to go out, get him used to that inside the house. Therefore, when he goes outside, he's got one less thing to worry about. Never use a collar and a lead on a puppy until he's well trained walking next to you. Make sure you give them a harness to walk on. Never use a collar before your puppy has been trained to walk next to you. If you do use a collar, it could harm their throat. Um, so if you use a harness, it will not hurt their chest um, or any parts of their bodies. Make sure they've got a well-fitted harness that they're nice and comfortable in. So if they do pull, it won't harm their bodies. Training your puppies is a varied subject. Training can be totally different to a small breed to a large breed. So if in doubt, please consult your vet, local pet store or definitely advisable, get yourself a puppy trainer. So that's how to train your puppy. I'm sure you've got plenty of more questions. Either contact your local vet or give us a call in store.